Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you tons of new features in iOS 16 beta 3 that I didn't mention in my previous video. And the first one is in the Find My App. Now, when you tap on any of the places already showing on the map, like this restaurant, for example, you will get a new shortcut called Open in Maps. Tapping on it will simply take you to the same exact place in Apple Maps. But keep in mind, this feature won't allow you to drop a pin inside the Find My app. It only works with the identified places. The second change is related to the Watch app. Now, if you have any update available for your Apple Watch, you no longer need to unlock it to start the updating process. However, all you need to do is to put your iPhone's lock screen passcode. The third change is the new angle conversion tool in the text selection menu. When you scroll all the way to the right, you will see convert angle. Tapping on it will show you the angle in different units. Change number four, when you play songs in Apple Music and then go to the spotlight search, you will see a new chip here with the artist name. Tapping on it will show you more information about this artist. Talking about music now, when you tap on the media controls from the control center and the tap on the album art or the song name, you will see this new visual feedback. There are also a couple of visual tweaks when it comes to the animations. If you have an app already open and then swipe down to access the notification center, you will see the lock screen wallpaper is already centered. And once you finish the swipe, the wallpaper will be revealed and instead of sliding from the top like before. Another small change, when you haptic press on any of the icons on your home screen, you will see a slightly slower animation. The app icon will pop out first and then the overlay menu will appear. And the last change I'm going to show you in this chapter. Now when you go to settings and then wallpaper, add a new wallpaper and scroll down to the collections category. Now we have the clownfish wallpaper back again with iOS 16. A lot of people didn't get this wallpaper right after installing beta 3, including myself. So if you are impacted with the same issue, try to restart the device or change your phone language to anything else and then revert back to the original language and that should do the trick for you. Now let's talk about the lock screen. Starting with the earth wallpaper, now when you tap the screen or press the power button, you will see a new animation that will start from the left towards the right and instead of rotating the entire globe like before. The second change in the same wallpaper is the new animated location dot. So when I tap the screen or press the power button, it will animate twice and then stop. In iOS 16 beta 3, Apple also improved the depth effect animation. As you see here, when I swipe up to access the home screen, the clock hides itself nicely behind the subject and that looks cleaner compared to the previous version. And lastly, there are a couple of tweaks related to the battery and the calendar widgets. Your battery percentage will only be revealed if the phone is unlocked like this. And also when you tap on the calendar event, it will take you to the event details page in the calendar app instead of showing you the day. Now let's talk about the photos app. When you multi-select photos like this and then tap the ellipses, you have the option to revert all photos to original if they are edited and also move them to your shared photo library if the feature is activated. The second change is under the iCloud settings and then photos. Now we have a new item called the status. This one will show you the current status of your syncing process with the iCloud account. And I took a couple of screenshots to show you how it looks. In this case, it was downloading 143 items. You can see the live count over here with the ability to pause the feature if you want. And in this case, it was synchronizing new photos to the cloud. And it says here syncing with the same counter as well. Now let me show you a couple of features in the shared photo library that I didn't mention before. When you tap on delete shared library, you have the option to keep everything, which means the photos you received from others and your photos will remain in the gallery. So you don't need to worry about losing anything or you can only keep the photos you shared with them. And when you go to the photos app and tap on select, you will see a new indicator at the bottom left corner to let you know if the photo is part of your personal or shared library. And the other way to do this is by tapping on the ellipses button and you can choose between your personal only or shared and finally both together. There are a couple of visual tweaks as well in iOS 16 beta 3. When you go to the duplicates album and then tap on merge, you will get a new notification at the bottom of the screen once the merge is done. And lastly, when you play a video in landscape view, the controls will be split on both sides. Now let's move on to live captions. With iOS 16 beta 3, it got some visual tweaks. The first one is the ability to hide the controls by tapping on the window and to get a more compact design. The second change is in the verbiage. Now it says listening instead of waiting and the waveform is permanently showing even if there is nothing playing. And when you go to settings 
and then accessibility and then live captions you will see a new icon here for the feature when you go inside and then appearance there is a new option here called bold text that will allow you to turn the feature on or off and also there is a new idle opacity slider that will change the icon opacity like this next the books app and the first change is the new x at the top right corner to close the currently open book and also when you tap and hold on the contents section you will be able to drag your finger and quickly move between pages also under the settings and then books you will see a new toggle here called both margins advanced page when you activate this feature you can tap on both sides to move to the next page and under reminders when you delete any of the items like this you should get a pop-up for the first time saying that your deleted reminders will stay in iCloud for 40 days before permanently deleting now let's move on to settings and the first change I'm going to show you is under accessibility and then spoken content then voices and now you will see plenty of new voices under each language one more change under accessibility and then touch assistive touch and then customize top level menu now you can add a new button called the continuous scroll I added this button and then activated the feature but unfortunately it doesn't do anything when I tap on it all I get is a small circle that appears on the screen and then goes away without any action next under settings and then notifications when you scroll all the way down you will see a new toggle here called test alerts I'm not sure what it does exactly and it will be great if Apple added a description for this new toggle and lastly under iCloud settings and then iCloud mail you will see a new item here called iCloud mail settings tapping on it will show you the rest of the options and finally Siri got a new activation voice for CarPlay, AirPods and Dictation so let me play a sample so that's pretty much it for today those are all the new features i spotted in ios 16 developer beta 3 after using it for a few more days so please let me know in the comments if i missed anything but for now thank you so much for watching and see you the next video